You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Isaiah chapter 3 and chapter 4, and we'll be reading from the New Living Translation. The Lord, the Lord of heaven's armies, will take away from Jerusalem and Judah everything they depend on, every bit of bread and every drop of water, all their heroes and soldiers, judges and prophets, fortune tellers and elders, army officers and high officials, advisors, skilled sorcerers and astrologers. I will make boys their leaders and toddlers their rulers. People will oppress each other, man against man, neighbor against neighbor. Young people will insult their elders, and vulgar people will sneer at the honorable. In those days, a man will say to his brother, Since you have a coat, you be our leader. Take charge of this heap of ruins. But he will reply, No, I can't help. I don't have any extra food or clothes. Don't put me in charge. For Jerusalem will stumble and Judah will fall, because they speak out against the Lord and refuse to obey Him. They provoke Him to His face. The very look on their faces gives them away. They display their sin like the people of Sodom and don't even try to hide it. They are doomed. They have brought destruction upon themselves. Tell the godly that all will be well for them. They will enjoy the rich reward they have earned. But the wicked are doomed, for they will get exactly what they deserve. Childish leaders oppress my people, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, your leaders mislead you. They send you down the wrong road. The Lord takes His place in court and presents His case against His people. The Lord comes forward to pronounce judgment on the elders and rulers of His people. You have ruined Israel, my vineyard. Your houses are filled with things stolen from the poor. How dare you crush my people! Grinding the faces of the poor into the dust, demands the Lord, the Lord of heaven's armies. The Lord says, Beautiful Zion is haughty, craning her elegant neck, flirting with her eyes, walking with dainty steps, tinkling her ankle bracelets. So the Lord will send scabs on her head. The Lord will make beautiful Zion bald. On that day of judgment, the Lord will strip away everything that makes her beautiful, ornaments, headbands, crescent necklaces, earrings, bracelets and veils, scarves, ankle bracelets, sashes, perfumes and charms, rings, jewels, party clothes, gowns, capes and purses, mirrors, fine linen garments, head ornaments and shawls, Instead of smelling of sweet perfume, she will stink. She will wear a rope for a sash, and her elegant hair will fall out. She will wear rough burlap instead of rich robes. Shame will replace her beauty. The men of the city will be killed with the sword, and her warriors will die in battle. The gates of Zion will weep and mourn. The city will be like a ravaged woman, huddled, on the ground. Chapter 4 In that day so few men will be left that seven women will fight for each man, saying, Let us all marry you. We will provide our own food and clothing. Only let us take your name so we won't be mocked as old maids. But in that day the branch of the Lord will be beautiful and glorious. The fruit of the land will be the pride and glory of all who survive in Israel. All who remain in Zion will be a holy people, those who survive the destruction of Jerusalem and are recorded among the living. The Lord will wash the filth from beautiful Zion and cleanse Jerusalem of its bloodstains with the hot breath of fiery judgment. Then the Lord will provide shade for Mount Zion and all who assemble there. He will provide a canopy of cloud during the day and smoke and flaming fire at night, covering the glorious land. 
It will be a shelter from daytime heat and a hiding place from storms and rain. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you again for the reminders that we receive from your word. Lord, we're grateful for the example that you give to us here of what it looks like when people rebel against you and why it's not wise to take an arrogant posture toward you. Lord, you invite us to walk with humility. You invite us to recognize that we are sinners in need of the Savior, your Son, Jesus Christ. And you invite us to confess our sin before you and to receive cleansing and healing from our sin directly from your hand. Lord, we know that you can and you do supply that for all who trust in you. And we thank you, Lord, for giving us a stark example in this book of our need for you. Lord, just as the people of Israel needed you, so do we. And we pray, Lord, that by your grace that we would walk with you faithfully in every context you place us in. We love you, Lord. We thank you for all of these things, and we thank you for your presence with us today. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. To download a free digital copy of my latest 30-day devotional, Desire Jesus, Volume 7, please visit us online at desirejesus.com.